What's good, everybody? This is Preston, lifelong adventurer and travel YouTuber. And I'm Ryan, the travel photographer, here to capture moments worth saving. And this is Adventures with Pictures podcast, bringing all those travel tips, horror stories, and just all around travel experiences. This is your podcast to soften those travel blues every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern. Now let's get started and hear from my guest today. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Adventures with Pictures, and I'm Preston. And I got my best friend Ryan in the building. And today we have a very, very special guest, Alicia. How are you doing today? Doing well, doing good. And that's that's good to hear. And I know we was talking uh, offline a little bit before we started recording, but um, you saw me, I wish I would have saw you, um, mm -hmm. at the last uh, Urban Flight Collective uh, event in, uh, in the DMV area. Um, yes. And that was a very uh, nice outing. Like I said, that was my first one there. And you said that was your second one. Um, yes. like I said, like, so, um, I was a little new to it. I'm a little late to it, but it was a very nice outing, a great way to meet other, um, uh, people of color, um, in the travel space. So, um, it was very, like I said, it was very put on and, uh, it was great. Hopefully we could put some links in the description for others. I know they was talking about having other, um, events, maybe even overseas as well. So that'd yes, be really yes. dope. That'd be super dope. Um, I know Ryan, he could not make it, but I know he wanted to. So, um, mm -hmm. hopefully he gets to come to the next one. Yeah. So. I, I, yeah. I was on assignment. I had, a, I had a freelance gig, uh, that same day. No excuse. Okay. So <laughs> we're going to just move on. <laughs> so anyway, so like, before we get into the questions, you know, you want to just tell some of the viewers about yourself. Okay. Well, my name is Alicia. Um, on Instagram, I'm Alicia, the wanderer. I'm originally from Jamaica, West Indies, and um, currently reside in New York City. And I'm, as far as work goes, I deal with um, insurance, health insurance, and hospital finance. And travel is just my passion. That's what kind of what I do to relax and unwind. So, yeah, free spirit, wanderer okay. by nature. Yeah. Oh, that's good. So, love it. my question is, and I know this is your passion, are mm -hmm. do, would you consider yourself a traveler or a tourist? A combination, more so a traveler. Um, the past few ones, of course, we take in the adventures, but um, combination of both. More okay. on the adventure side. More on the adventure. I go, yeah. And more on the adventure side. Okay, okay. And I know, like I said, um, we posted this question uh, before, and I'm mm -hmm. glad you commented on it because, like you said, uh, Ryan and I, we've been like looking for people to talk about these type of uh, different type of people that, that travel to like nudist camps and just because there's so many different types of travelers out there or yeah. just tourists and, th and things of that nature. So, um, so we can get right into it. So the question today is, you know, we wanted to find out more information about the, um, hedonism. So, and like I said, you are such a matter expert today. So <laughs> I want to say thank you for coming on the show and then, you know, tell us about it. So the first question is, what is it? You know, like, cause I never, I've heard, heard about it in like magazines and stuff like that but i've never been so forgive me if i'm ignorant about the um the conversation so, but you know that's that's why you're here to enlighten us <laughs> okay well first things first um hedonism it's an adults only all-inclusive resort okay, okay. Yeah. So just like you you know just like a regular hotels whatever all inclusives but adults only and there are two sides you have your nudist side and not so, and it's up to you. He does whatever you make it. Nothing is forced on you. It's um, no judgment. So, like I said, there are two sides. So you have okay. your crude side and your nude side. I like my type of like, I'm going to slide yeah, yeah. right quick. Uh, yeah, you know, so, so it sounds like you can choose, like, you can be like, you know what? I'm waking up this morning. I feel like, I feel a little prudent today. I'm still in the crude side of things. Yeah. Too. Okay. So, you, okay. Yeah. Cool. I like that. Well, yeah. Well, just to follow up with it, because like I know when it comes to hedonism, right? Um, with me doing my research, um, I know one of the things it says is like it's uh, hedonism is one of the most famous, uh, like you said, adult-only resorts, um, mm -hmm. and 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 adult playground. So, can you yeah. like um, can you elaborate what they mean by adult playground? So you have what they call the romping shop. That's for couples only, couples and single women, and single men have to be invited. Ooh. So you can be a prayer, you can watch, or you can be invited, you can play. So, but it's the couple, single women, and the single men have to be invited. Okay. okay so, 
So, like for example, like a single man can go to hedonism, but they can only be so a couple. But a couple or a single woman has to invite that single man. Correct. Yes. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yes. Makes sense. Makes sense. Oh, that I, I did not know that. But I mean, it makes sense because you'd be like, "Hey, dude, what you doing over there? Like, you are way too excited. <laughs> you are way too involved right now. Uh -huh. It's eight o'clock in the morning. Like, chill." So I mean, yeah. I, I, I actually get that, and that actually sounds to me, just outside looking in, more of a, I mean, it could be a safety factor, you know what I'm saying? Because some, you know, men, I mean, men or women, but mostly I would think about men um, perspective that men can get a little bit, you know, out of control or especially talk about drinking and, you know, things of that nature. So yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm glad that if you're gonna have a uh, single man just on the lurking and just sitting there like, hey, I'm here to have fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know, so yeah, yeah I, I completely understand that. So, right, I think, I, yeah, I think also in addition to the safety issue that you brought up, I, I guess just to keep the numbers down. I mean, because you know, we're all adults. See, if you go into an adult playground, you're not trying to go to when it's like majority men, you know, in that type of <laughs> environment. So yeah, you probably keep the numbers down. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> the numbers be high as hell. I'd be like, what are you doing this weekend? <laughs> Shit, I'm gonna catch this whole flight. I ain't got nothing else to do. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. it's sausage party all over the place. Nah, yeah. So, yeah. Because uh -uh. yeah. I said, like, because I would feel like the women is what drives it. I mean, in my mind, because you see beautiful women all over the place, that would drive the culture, you know, in, in, at least in my mind. So, yeah. But believe it or not, there's actually a lot of older folks. Really? Oh. A lot of <laughs> old Europeans, yeah. Old Europeans? So, old Europeans. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's... Man, yeah. they, they gotta have a life too, you know. Yeah. Oh man, okay. where am I out here living? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, how did you get involved in it, or or even hear about it? I mean, I'm assuming because you're in Jam you're from Jamaica. I'm from Jamaica, so. yeah. So hedonism has been out since like the '70s, but I hadn't. But the four, first time I went was like four years ago, and it was actually for a uh, birthday. My friend was celebrating her 35th birthday, and was like, "Let's go to hedonism." So I was like, "Okay, why okay. not?" <laughs> Oh, hey, and you weren't nervous? No, I, I forgot I was like, <laughs> I'm gonna be cautious, but no. Oh, like okay. said, um, oh, and so we were on the prude side, and like you said, little by little, like, oh. ooh, yeah, I'm gonna stick the whole big the toe out there. I'm gonna stick it <laughs> so, yeah, out there. We'll, I'm gonna see what's popping. Okay. <laughs> and then little by little, by the end of the week, everything was gone. But, uh, said, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I started out on the prudes. Yeah, and then all That's the good. fun and the game, all the fun and games were on the nude side. Like it was taking you out, like the dance. You know, it was think of your um, regular hotels. Like you have mm -hmm. your um, volleyball and like you know all the games and entertainment. They were much better on the on the nude side. You know, so, I must say that that's pretty slick. Like, you know, the prude side is like they try to make it seem boring, but all the fun and games is on the nude side. So if you want to have mm -hmm. fun, the drinking and the volleyball. That's funny though. Side. They're like, hey. That's slick. hey. They like that Peru side, keep the budget low. <laughs> we, gonna, we gonna get them by the end of the week, guys. Mm -hmm. So like, just like, so, okay. So once you go to the other side, do you have to mm -hmm. be naked? You, you have to have at least something off. Something off. If you're going oh, over okay. to something off, so it could be a top or if you're not, you know, if you would be- um, oh, okay. you know, Bottoms or whatever. Yeah. Wow. And then you have to be like that the whole time you're on that side. On the nude side, yes. And the only place that you have to have clothes on is dining. That would make sense. In the restaurant that, stuff. Yeah. I don't know, man. See titties and steak and I mean, I don't uh -huh. know. I just it'd be like, <laughs> or it could be, you know, mm -hmm. the other way around, you know, guys naked too. So yeah. you know that, so that's it. Uh, yeah. So that's, that, that's a flip side. That's a flip side you gotta nah, don't don't nah, don't have your tree trunk next to my steak fan. Just nah. Yeah. Just leave it alone. So get some clothes on. Nah. nah so get some clothes on. Get some clothes on next to food, please. All right, that makes sense. So, well, you already answered my uh, question, you know, one of my previous ones, you know, because like, like you said, uh, you know, I was wondering if single males are allowed to, to go to hit it at all. So they're allowed to go, but just not to the yeah. adult play. Okay, so. Yeah. So, so, yeah. so how does that work? So like, okay, let me ask you a question. So can I be single and just go to the proof side? Yeah, you're single. It's like a regular hotel, but we, okay, we're, so talking about the, we're talking about the playroom. Yeah, the playroom. Play rooms. Okay. The play so, rooms I the play room. so I could come there as a single man, go to the prude side, but if I see you back and forth on each side, 
and say, hey, where are you about to go? I'm about to go to the, you know, the fun now side. You can go, now, you can go to the news side. You can go to but the news side. You have to invite me. So how does the invite work? Do you got to tell the hotel? No. Or is it just like... No, the, 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 no, the, the invite only works for the adult playground. Like, single yeah, males can't... Yeah, yeah, the playroom. Yeah. But you can... But you so, can yeah, I'm sorry, go ahead, my bad. Yeah, you can go, you can switch back and forth from crew to new. That's on you. But we're talking about after hours, we're talking about the playrooms. Mm. So, okay, so the playroom, is that like, so, so is, can you just elaborate a little bit more on this playroom and say, like, like what's the about, atmosphere? Yeah. Um, they're like, think of like, um, like you're on the beach, like, yeah, the, the ballas, um, like individual, like, bedroom areas. I want to see, like, cabanas. They're almost like cabanas set up. Okay. And wow. um, like I said, it's couples. And sing, and so the, if it, a couple may approach you and say, you know, mm-hmm. they're into that. Or you even have swingers there too. It's all, if you, like I said, it's as much as you want to make of it, but wow. a couple would approach you and see if you want to join them. Mm-hmm. Or maybe you just That's... want to watch. Cause some people like, some people like to have, you know, viewers, so. Yeah, some people like that voyeurs. Voyeurs, so. yeah, like yeah. that voyeurs. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, so okay, like you said, so it's all types of lifestyles. So, cause that was mm-hmm. one of my follow up questions. So it could be anything. People that's in the voyeurism, uh, to, you know, to actually um acting in into the acts or whatever like that. Yeah. Things of that nature. Okay, so I mean that's interesting because mm-hmm. so since I can't really ask that question, because already <clears throat> answer it, but I will have to say. How much something like this costs? Like, what, like, what's the package? Is there like packages? They're packages, it... so it, you can prove you have, and they're always having deals. So you could have rooms as low as like one hundred seventy nine dollars a night. So just think of, they're usually, especially to what we call hito virgins, like your first time. <laughs> they're going to be packed, yeah. So just think of your all inclusive, getting them, you know, the height of like summer or the holidays. It might be more like in the three hundreds or. You know, mm. you have your different um, suites and, and your okay. standard double rooms. So it's just like any other resort. Okay. Specials cool. and things. Yeah. All right. Well, that, that brings me up to like just to follow up with that. Like you said, they got different mm-hmm. packages and stuff like that. I have kind of a two part question. Mm-hmm. You know, to your knowledge, is there like, well, the first part of the question, to your knowledge, is there like an, an ideal time for people of color to go? And are there like maybe special, you know, groups for people of color to, to go to who get into them, to, to your knowledge? Year, yeah, year round is a good time, but there, oh. there, there's several groups. Actually, there's one, um, the Black uh, Black Nudist group is actually coming up on their fifth anniversary. Really? Oh, that's when it used to have, yeah. Got you. Got you. Yeah, yeah, that is so okay. interesting. I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm just fascinated by that. <laughs> so, yeah, so there are different groups that will have, any, you know, basically throughout the year, there's somebody having something. So it's always, yeah. Okay, so, so it's just a matter of doing your research. Okay. Church, yeah. So, okay, so all year round. Um, so my follow-up is, because everybody's new to things, how do you capture the moments? Is it just mental? Do people got cameras? Like, how does that work? Yeah, that's another thing. Um, yeah, definitely no photography. Okay. You know, if you have, you know, this is not going to be like live stream, like you're putting this on social media. Like you know, Facebook, yeah. world star. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> None of that. This is when it's truly in the moment. Yeah, so... So, but okay, so, okay, well, I'm assuming because since you nude or mm-hmm. semi nude, definitely no self. Well, that's actually, mm-hmm. to be honest with you, that's actually a little bit even more intimate just based off the fact of, you know, as a couple, you actually got to pay attention to your, you know, to your mate, your spouse, oh, because mm-hmm. now you don't have your phone to sit there and distract you from talking or whatever. So, <clears throat> on that aspect, I actually do think that's pretty cool because. We actually just did an IG live about a week ago, and we was um, talking about how, you know, do social media ruin like vacations and stuff like that. And I feel like based upon what you just said, that literally in this instance, it would not because you have to be in the moment, you know, because you don't have your phones to just play around with and, you know, text or send pictures or even sneak pictures and things of that nature. So that's actually pretty interesting. Yeah. But you know what? At the same time, though, I mean, if 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 you go to like one of these resorts and your wife is nude, if if, you, if you're distracted by your phone, you yeah, that's that, that's not a good look at your relationship. I think that's, <laughs> that's a different. That's another story, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's another exactly. story. But I mean, I don't know. Like, I mean, but honestly, do you really, do you really just sit there and look at your spouse all day, even if you take a shower 
They get well, out. I, if we are, if she's new, hey, I, I ain't working my phone. That's what I'm saying. Now, I don't know, That's man. What... I, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if I just. I don't know. That's that's that's, that's interesting. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, can say that. That. I don't just stand, like my wife takes a shower and she gets out the shower. I don't just be like, because I'm like it's my wife, so you know, like my wife still puts a towel on, like when she when she leaves the shower, like she don't walk around butterball naked, like you know what I'm saying. So it's like, yeah, that's my wife, but you know, but like I said, it's like, but you I, in this instance, I you definitely got to be comfortable, not only in your own skin. But you definitely got to be comfortable being around other, you know, other people because they're gonna be looking at your wife. You're gonna be looking at women. Gonna be looking at you. So yeah. So so uh, would you ever? So I, the times that you have been, have you been with like a significant other, or is it only being like your girlfriends and stuff? Only with girlfriends. Girlfriends. Okay. Okay. Would you go with your uh, your uh, mate? I'd have to try that. I know. I never thought about it. <laughs> I mean, because you know, um, like, it's like, cause, yeah. cause you didn't, like you said, you didn't already broke the seal, as they say, you know. So you say, you want to be a, a Hindu, uh, you know, a, a virgin. So, um, virgin, yeah. but if your spouse was to say, not spouse or your mate or boyfriend, mm -hmm. you know, whatever, would say, hey, I want to go too. I want to experience it. You know. Like I said, I think, yeah, definitely. Because, like okay. I said, it was it was good to be like an adults only resort. Yeah. And yeah, folks yeah. aren't really like they're, they're like, it's regular. Like people. People weren't there, like staring you down. It was just like regular. Okay. So, and, and, yeah. Like it was okay. relaxed. Like I, it was like a relaxed atmosphere. It's like just a regular atmosphere, because I'm sure the people yeah. that, that you're around, you know, they're yeah. just like you said, it's a regular environment. You just don't mm -hmm. have any clothes on, so nobody's sitting there gawking and, oh my god, acting like a child. You know, like, you no know, small minded. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. that's good. Like everybody felt comfortable. So. Yeah, you know, it, it literally reminds me, what's the thing, uh, the saying that people say, like, if you're nervous, you just picture everybody in their underclothes or naked. Like, it's, it's like <laughs> the bro. Right, it's a little like, bro. So because of that, so I was about to say, um, you know, so on the scale of one to 10, how nervous were you when you were kind of edging towards that nude side? I think the first time, um, like eight. But like I said, you just ease into it because like, once you realize nobody's even paying attention to you, they're doing their own thing. You know? <laughs> cool. Yeah. That's what's up. That's cool. That's, that's, a, cool. that's, that's cool. all right. So, how many times have you been? I've only been once. Okay. Would you go back? Yes, definitely. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, uh -huh. that's, I'm going to have to look into it. I know my wife would never do it, but just to like look said, into it. Come try it out. Like I said, stay on the fruit side. Like, if you like nervous about, like, that was with us. Like, when we were going, four of us, two into mm -hmm. the fully nude, and, you know, uh, myself and the other young lady stayed on the, Fruit side, so you know, try it out. And like I said, nothing's forced. Because what you make of it. So, like, yeah. I lived in Germany for like three years, mm -hmm. and just being an American, <laughs> just overseas in general, like I feel like Americans are so just prudes in general, because like going to Germany was like such a culture shock, in the sense of like we went to a couple of beaches, like we went to like indoor beaches and stuff like that. And depending on what time of the day or um, day of the week, everybody's new. I mean, little kids, grownups, everybody just new, but they don't look at nudity as, as, as Americans do. Or like, you know, like sexual, sexualize it. Yeah, so they don't, so, you know, Americans are very over-sexualized, you know, from a very young age. And I feel like when you go to other countries, it's not to that level. So um, I think that would actually help as well. Like I said, because you're Jamaican, um, you know, you guys go to, you guys would probably go to the beach all the time or, you know, if it's, you know, close to you in, in um, proximity. So, you know, that just, maybe that's just the culture, you know? So how is it like off of those resorts? Is it kind of like, do Jamaica got new beaches outside of those type of resorts? Um, no, because I think the other new one is here in like Mexico, but, um. Hedonism, yeah, I think it's just Hida. Yeah, Hida too is just the only one that I know of. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, gotcha. And, we know, I'm sorry, look, I didn't mean it wrong. And I was going to say, Hedonism is right there in the grill and um, close to Hedonism. Um, you can go off, you've got Booby K Island, which has like fabulous lobster you eat. So you can do day Ooh. excursions. There's stuff, you know, to get off of the resort and capture some of like the island itself. 
Mm-hmm. And of course, people know Famous Rick's Cafe, but yeah, Booby K has Great Lobster. Okay, I, I see. I, I, I know I, you got to excuse me because whenever I go to Jamaica, I may have to hit you up and pick your brain yeah. about some spots to, to to roll to. So definitely, definitely. That's I appreciate, right. appreciate it. And, and, and to y'all point, you know, I I definitely gonna understand what person's saying about the whole America might be kind of prude and things like that. Because I think most people, I mean, or people who maybe are a little more open minded, they can look at nudism as you know this is you know your natural state, and, and maybe that's how they feel more comfortable with it. Um, so was there any like funny or crazy travel story that you maybe recall from this hedonism experience that you uh, went to? I mean, <laughs> there are a few like, I'm not a swinger, but I was invited to uh, swinging parties because while okay. I was there, speaking of groups, th- there was a swinging group there. So, <laughs> but we were a part of the swinging group, but I, okay. you know, I'm a voyeur of sorts. So I may have watched a good Okay. All right, hey, there you go. Nothing wrong with that. Tell me more. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's cool. So, so just to be clear, you got invited by the swinger group to, to watch to some, yes, some things. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's all uh, right. Because, you know, and that's the thing is, that's the type of stuff I be wanting to know and talk about because mm-hmm. um, I just, I feel like that's a culture that I'm just unfamiliar with, you know? Mm-hmm. And, you know... Was that your first time in the, the voyeurism scene type deal, or yeah, because it wasn't like, or it's just like watching, you know, live, like watching, watching live yeah. pronos, looking at the old yeah. pronos. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> I mean, I joined. But like, it's rad. I mean, yeah, and even on the beach, people you'll have people go at it, like just laid out on the beach, and like a couple in front of you just sat and sex. Like I said, people get free, you know, they're on vacation. So why not? That why is not right. I do yeah. like that, and like you said, it's not a. Because I always thought it was like, because uh, me and Ryan was talking about this probably like a couple of days ago, I always thought it was more or less like how they do like Myrtle Beach, where there's like a white, uh, you know, bike week, and then there's a black bike week. So this is uh, just literally just all year long. Yeah, different groups every everybody. year. Mm-hmm. Year round everybody. Wow, I did not know that. Okay, so so you did, so you like, um, just a bounce off what President said, so you didn't feel out of place or outnumbered as far as damn like me and my girlfriends are like the only people of color you saw other people no of no, color. no there's actually no like like i said there's another um black group there actually there okay. were several different groups there so yeah okay yeah, cool. yeah. That's, Man, that's, that is interesting like i said i just like i said it's all new to me and i wish my wife my wife actually had a question um she, she wanted to come on but she had to um, do something right quick but um, just to paraphrase her question, uh, cause she's more of a therapist. <clears throat> so she had like a therapeutical type. She pretty much wanted to know, do you find it like sort of like therapy? So like travel is my therapy. Like I use that mm-hmm. to unwind, um, you know, just get my mind off of my job and things of that nature. Like, did you find it kind of therapeutic that you could be free like that? Yes, and I'm a water baby, so I'm gonna be by the water anyhow. So it just was just relaxed. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah of course. And I'm the whole environment is relaxed. Yeah. Okay, that's what's up. Well, um, I was gonna say like just on a another scale to one to ten question, like how nervous were you to be invited to that type of scenery to you know to do you with the whole boy risk? <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm like, oh, this is kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, not gonna lie, it was kind of weird, but uh, okay. like, am I really doing this? But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. Yeah, I, I mean, I, that, yeah, especially if that's not the scenery you use, so I could definitely understand how that could be nervous, you know. Yeah, so yeah, because that's definitely, of course, we're not kink shame, but that's definitely out of the norm. So for someone mm-hmm. to invite you to, you know, to watch some stuff like that, so I, I totally get that. Guys. Hey, that's a grown woman right there because I tell you right now, I'd have got my popcorn. I'd be that great, like, yo, slow down, my man. Yo, yo, my man, slow down. I ain't ready for this to end, bro. I'd be like, can you slow down? It's a slow down momentum. Momentum. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Open voice, sir. Can you please slow down? Mm-mm. But, um, wild boy, wild boy, man. But yeah, like, I, I want to say, like, just thank you because like, we just wanted to pick your brain on it. And, uh, and before we get out of here, if you can yeah, get I'm everybody, drop you the link. yeah, I'm gonna drop you guys the links for some of the black groups. Oh yeah, like. please, because I'm telling you, this is all interesting to me. You might find, you know, Preston be out there next year, like going on. 
<laughs> I'm here for the uh, <laughs> for the entertainment. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm here for the party. Like, what's up? Uh, um, but if, if you could drop all your social media links just one more time, so people okay. can, you know, uh, if they have follow up questions, yeah, they can hit you okay. up. Yeah, yeah, at least, um, at least you're the wanderer. Can I put in? I just put it in the chat box, or oh no, no, no you can oh, actually just tell everybody and then like say we'll uh, already have your handle. Oh, okay, so wonderful. I just, okay. just you know because we actually put this on YouTube as well oh. as other uh, you know uh, outlets and Platform. stuff like that, like okay. Apple and Amazon and stuff like that. So people just might actually just hear it, you know. Um, I about to say mentally, but you know what I mean. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so but actually, I just. A little off topic a little bit, okay. but um, how long have you been traveling? My whole life. <laughs> really? Pretty much, pretty much. I first came to the U.S. when I was like five, and then oh, just been okay. traveling. But before, when I was younger, I used to just travel back and forth to like Jamaica and the States and like England, Jamaica, and then now after. Yes, say, it, is a, it is a huge popul uh, Jamaican population in England, because yes. I mm -hmm. did kind of research that a little bit. I mean, when I lived, like, so when I lived in Germany, because I did go to London and I didn't make it to, I guess, the the, the more of the black area or the more the Jamaican mm -hmm. side. But when I do go back to UK, which uh, they just lifted, um, the, uh, I guess, some of the uh, quarantine stuff, it's like literally like a couple of days ago. Now I'm like, you got my interest now. I'm ready yes, to go London, back. London is a fabulous city. I love London. I love London. Like London, London is like my, my number one city that I would want to live in in Europe. But it's just mm. so damn expensive. So yeah. <laughs> uh, I have to see how that plays out. But uh, but yeah, like um, I'm just like said, we started this this podcast just to meet people and just like I said, make the world closer. And like I said, we've been actually trying to find <clears throat> people to come on the show to talk about like nudist camps, nudist communities, because like like as Ryan know, I'm into all types of travel, like whether it's hiking, adventurer. Um, you know, just regular, just tourism type deals. Uh, and I'm so glad that, that you said something and I was able to, you know, connect with you and get you on here. Um, super, super dope. Mm -hmm. sure, I really sure. appreciate that. So, right, you got anything? Oh, yeah. I, I was just about to give her a shout out. I really, really uh, enjoy your stories. Ever since you, um, you know, put out the comment, uh, you know, your, your page has been on my radar anyway, and I find your story so fascinating. You know, uh, the, the, I know the recent you. Tulum trip you was on. Yes, yeah, the, yeah. The, yeah, the Tulum trip was good. I can't wait to see how the uh, underwater photo comes out. I know you, you've got to- <laughs> Oh, you haven't. <laughs> you yeah. haven't followed me, okay. Yeah, yeah, hey, you know, so, and, and, and this is not even like trying to do research before it gets, but like I just generally yeah. my pastime, like when the story comes up, I'm like, okay, let me see what dope stuff she got going on today. And, it, and it's been really fun. So I, it's been a pleasure for you to come on the show. Oh, thank um, you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah, like I said, we all, like, we try to make not more of a say, like, an interview, just like, I just a basic general conversation okay. between mm -hmm. two or three different people and just, you know, just talk. Because mm -hmm. I think a lot of people, that's like a lost art because everything's through text messages and emails and things of that nature just a regular conversation about mm -hmm. whatever you know whatever it is and like i said our passion is travel so um well at least my passion ryan is trying to get in there um mm -hmm. trying to get ryan out the country a little bit more you know he's <laughs> you know he's a little slow on that part but okay. I, promise, I gotta get That's him out there to the too. <laughs> thank you thank you thank you okay let me ask you a question before we get about it here <laughs> when you travel when you travel uh -huh. Do you uh do you spend all day in a, in a hotel? No. Okay. No. I just want to ask you a question because Ryan Ryan <laughs> believes that you should stay in the hotel till like three o'clock in the afternoon. You, you, know, all all day. you gotta be up uh, up early. Well, at least you know, down, Ryan. Hey, in my defense, I do get out and about. I just don't like to get rushed in the morning. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get uh, out when I'm good and ready. That's it. So what's that's it? Good and ready, huh? By noon. Yeah, by noon. All right, let's by hit the noon. Yeah. yeah. Noon is three o'clock. You might as well say yeah. noon. There's no <laughs> difference between noon and three. Uh, Alicia, Alicia, my wife has, uh, my wife and daughter has, has left me in the room uh -huh. before because I just move so slow and I just so relaxed and I just catch up with them. I'm the slow poke of the, 
family on vacation. I just, I just like, I, I work hard, so I like, to, I like to relax hard. I, oh. I, I, don't, I don't know. But what yeah, I was gonna say. say you taking vacation. That's when you said you relax. Exactly. Okay. That is the difference. <laughs> and I, and then that's Probably. what I explained to Ryan. I said, hey, mm -hmm. I will sleep in to the noon if it was an actual vacation, vacation, like as in, mm -hmm. I'm in the Maldives. I'm in some type of like super remote relax. area where. Mm -hmm. You know, there's really nothing to do. Mm -hmm. But if I'm like, you know, going to Tulum, I'm going to uh, shit, Jamaica, I mean, anywhere like anywhere that I could see something, I'm up and at them. I mean, I ain't say I'm gonna wake up at four o'clock in the morning, but you know, by eight o'clock in the morning, hey, we need to be making moves. We need to be figuring out, hey, we're leaving the door, or, hey, something, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's the type of person, that's how I travel. So Ryan and I actually been knowing each other for over 20 years. But we only traveled one time together, and that's when we was super young, and we went to bike week, so that didn't really count. But we, but we had fun. We had yeah, fun. We, we had fun. We had fun. But yeah. you know, we haven't been anywhere together as adults. Like you know, we mm. both got careers and stuff. Um, because I told him I'll leave his ass, and I was, <laughs> and then I said, well, and I said Preston, if he'll leave his ass, why even go with him? <laughs> you, know, so, you know, so um. You know, and that's just, you know, and, and Ryan, like I said, Ryan's my best friend. Like, we've been, like I said, we've been together for a long time. And he's yeah. actually, um, like I said, I was in the military. So when I used to live in Oklahoma, uh, he actually came out and visited me. So I, like I said, just, so I said, Ryan would do some domestic stuff. He would do some domestic stuff. So hopefully I can get him to go somewhere domestically and I'm going to drag his ass out that door. Like, I don't care. Find some compromise in there. Yeah, there yeah. That's, that's, that's the compromise. I'd be like, hey, not eight. How about nine? You know, you know. We, can, we can be out by nine. But yeah, so sure, sure. also before we sign out, do you have anything um, up and coming that you want to share with the audience? Anything well, they can um, like, look forward to? Well, Miami Carnival. So this Woo. is coming up. <laughs> yeah. Mm. That's, a, that's a tester, you know, first yeah. one since COVID. So, yeah, you know, yeah. testing measures. We got to all have our COVID test. Good thing about it is a controlled area, the, uh, at least the Miami events. The, Okay. Event. So yeah, the Miami Carnival is this coming weekend. I've only been to one carnival and that was Rio. I don't want oh, to Rio. Yeah, yeah, it's different. different. Yeah, different vibes in the West Indian culture. Yeah. See, and uh, <laughs> hey, I know this is a whole other subject, but I heard that. I got some West mm -hmm. Indian friends and they was like, Oh, you went to Carnival? I was like, Yeah, yeah, man, Rio. That was like Rio, huh? They looked at me like I was different. They was like, no, nah, man, it's different than <laughs> You know, if you go to Trinidad or you go to like Barbados, you know, stuff like that. And I was just like, mm -hmm. really? And they start showing me videos. Yeah. I was like, oh, yes, you're correct. Because uh, <laughs> it was definitely not to that level. I was like, I don't know if my wife will let me go. I was like, because <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 like my running joke is, like my running joke is like, um, you know, like uh, what's the movie? Uh, Harlem Nights. Like I mm -hmm. call my wife and be like, babe, you know, have a good life. I ain't coming. I ain't never coming home. You know? <laughs> because like it's literally insane. It mm -hmm. is super insane. But uh, I definitely would take. I take my wife when I go to these those type of events. Yeah. I, I went to Carnival right. Rio by myself, but it wasn't like I said. It wasn't not that crazy. So, but yeah. So like I said, thank you for coming on the show. Um, we really enjoyed talking me. to you. Enjoyed meeting you. Mm -hmm. I wish I would have known who you were. Um, at the actual event. Um, mm -hmm. So definitely got to link up with you because I'm actually, um, I just linked up with uh, Kevin Kev Worldwide. Do you know who he is? Yes. Yeah, so. Not love Kevin, yes. Yeah, so uh, Kev, I actually, I actually just came back from Boston. So I okay. flew up to Boston this past weekend and hung out with him. Uh, mm -hmm. Great time. That's my first time meeting him in real person. Oh, what's real and person? he does a lot of domestic travel, so too. Yes, yes. So I went up there real cool. That's my dude now. Um, I'm actually supposed to be um, um, having lunch or dinner or something like that with um, uh, Let's Get Stamps, Brittany. So, oh, that's, that's my little yeah, sister. <laughs> Press is out here, all right? At least, at least, <laughs> I, I'm gonna need you now. Now I gotta bother you now. No, uh -huh. I'm gonna come up to New York. I'm gonna be like, What's up? I'm here. Yeah. Okay. I just went to I just went to New York back in May because I'm trying to do okay. all five barrels. I have okay. yet to go to the Bronx and, and stuff like that. I've been to Brooklyn, I've been to uh, Manhattan. Or my Queens. Like that. What about Queens? I haven't, I haven't been to Queens yet. See, I know that's why I'm coming. <laughs> now, now I gotta come up there because I was trying to um because I actually vlog a lot of stuff. So 
um, I wanted to, I, I, I broke down my New York episodes into five or six different episodes. So I did part one of Manhattan. Now I got to do part two. So in your opinion, what's the next borough I need to visit after Manhattan? Well, they're all, what are you looking for? Culture. So, Afri so everything, I mean, so you can do the Bronx and you can see the Afro and the Hispanic side or the Italian. Okay. You got Brooklyn, some Irish. Um, if you want all world wanders, basically Queens is the most diverse borough. Queens, okay. Queens I'm gonna make Queens my next food. one. Uh, I'm gonna yeah. make Queens my next one. Do you live near Queens? <laughs> in Queens I'm, like I'm in Queens, I'm, okay. I'm in Southeast. Of all parts, Jamaica Queens. <laughs> okay, great represent. Yeah. I only know Jamaica Queens from coming to America, so okay. I, I would say I have no idea who, about anything else about Queen. But I definitely, when I uh, come that way, I'm definitely gonna try to hit you up and maybe you can like point some things out because uh, mm -hmm. I'm trying to get into um, you know just just different cultures. Like I say, I'm a culture type of guy. Like I don't want to just eat at the hotel or things like mm -hmm. that. I'm trying to actually immerse myself in the communities, oh, you know, mm -hmm. see like, I love street murals, like, you know, just street art is like one of my favorite things to see. Mm -hmm. um, so things of that nature, something like that. So I definitely yeah. will be um, in touch. I'm gonna get Ryan ass out of Maryland and he's gonna bring <laughs> his ass up there too. Yeah. Uh, he don't know it yet, but he he, he coming. So yeah. definitely, cause he'll say he's a photographer. I mean, every good it. traveler needs a photographer. <laughs> And if you're a hip hop head, I mean, Run oh. DMC, Nas, they're yeah. all from Queens. So, you, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm yeah. a hip hop head, for sure. So, for sure. I know Ryan like to ask this question. Who's your favorite rapper? <laughs> that's like that's like having a favorite child. I mean, mm. not really. <laughs> <laughs> but you definitely got to be a answer. Nas fan. You got to be a that's Nas safe, fan. Safe answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I love Biggie. I, I love I love Biggie and Nas. No Biggie <laughs> and Nas. Okay. No, like like no Jay. Jay's cool too, but you. Oh, well, like I said, it's a favorite chip. I, I mean, see, we that. start we start giving names. Now you're gonna be like, what about this one, that one? But yeah. No, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna. I'm not, I'm not going past Jay. But you just say like, oh yeah, Jay cool. Like you said, they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, right. But I like, I like that. I like that. I like I like that in you. Okay, so yeah. But this, um, I just want to say, like I said, once again, thank you for coming on the show and just having fun with us and stuff like that, okay? Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you guys again for having me. Oh, no problem. No problem. Okay? Uh -huh. All right. So this is Preston and Ryan signing off of Visual Pictures and our beautiful guest, Alicia. Thank you. Peace. Peace out. Thanks.